hi everyone this is the ghanian farmer thanks for joining us on our channel if this is your first time please subscribe and share the link of all our videos so yesterday i decided to visit the farm with my team to go and see progress that is ongoing in terms of the planting because we finished planting 20 acres we are moving to the 10 acre that you know is on the other side and we needed to get some food stuff for the laborers as well unknowingly to us is that a raining and just look at the the road leading to the farmhouse it was all flooded it was heavy heavy rain i was scared frightened because my car is not a pickup it is a very small car so i was scared that we might get stuck but finally we arrived at the farmhouse and then we met some number of people i was wondering who are these guys because i haven't seen them there for any of the days i visited that's tefako coming right out of the car and that is koeku who is bringing out some food stuff from the car we bought for the labor so i wanted to show this quick video because it, it was my first lesson or i call it an error and a lesson when we hired the farm workers we didn't know that as long as they stay within your confines to do your work for you aside charging you the food they'll be eating is your bedding and you cannot detect it from the amount they are charging i mean christ ah that is some budget i did not plan for but you have to find ways and means and provide them with their food so yesterday right from accra we need to shop they wanted some rice oil condo uh maize flour we bought them including some other things and we met these people they are also here you know there are some other tenants who are also into planting rice watermelon onion uh tomato and other things so we met them i asked the landlord what is happening and he says oh they are people from neighboring communities who are coming to stay for a while to plant for another farmer so yes that's it and and they, look at my car look at this city car and look at what is going through um well that's what i have so we have to manage and we pray that we'll make some money and buy a pickup that needs uh, uh, to be doing this work but i needed to draw your attention so you'll be aware of some of these pertinent things that will be popping up uh so long as you want to become a farmer some of these things are unplanned but it would happen and so you need to be prepared so that you can actually confront it squarely and timely um when it happens so we're going back to our craft that is stuff i call myself she does publishing of stories on our website the ghanaianfarmer.org so at times you should visit the website to go and read some of the stories we have there and so finally we managed to get to the roadside that is heading to accra but i decided to do a quick video to just bring you up to speed on what happened to us uh on our way to Sege to go and visit the farm um just as we parked the car right behind me were some cows a lot of cows and i was scared to be there so i had to move and there they were you know something happened these cows as they were walking towards the road the leader or i mean the fulani guy told them to stop and they stopped until he actually commanded them to move and they started moving that should tell you that if you're going to be a livestock farmer, you should find a way to communicate with your animals so they know your voice, they listen to your command. And it was interesting. It was a sight to behold. Look at these animals. It's worth millions. If you own them, you are a rich man, my friend. This is still the Ghanaian farmer. My name is Enyonam. If it's your first time on my channel, please subscribe to it. And please take note of these lessons that i have learned as a new farmer i wanted to share with you because i care about you i know you're so much gearing up to become a farmer and you need to know some of these things some of these pockets 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 of mistakes that will be you know showing up every now and then you need to take notice of it and then work on it so there we are i'm waiting for them to pass so i can do my video and then we'll continue from there so hey guys Enjoy, subscribe, and share. Let's listen to what I have to say. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me on the Ghanaian Farmer channel. My name is Enyonam. When you see me in town, call me Ghanes 
finest farmer if this is your first time on our channel please subscribe yes we need your subscription and we need you to also share the links of all the videos you're watching um so over the weekend i was not around you will see a new face on the channel sefako she will be inheriting me very soon <laughs> so she was in the farm with one or two of our investors who are based here in ghana one is an insurance person one is a banker you'll be seeing that video uh matched with this one and so when i came from kumase from an event i went to Madrid, i asked the team we have to come and see progress of what the workers are doing on the farm and oh my goodness we left accra you know my limousine you know that car eh i will show you for you to see we moved from accra we got to somewhere closer to sege and it started raining we can't go back to Accra. We need to continue and come to the farm. Now, just look right behind me. Do you see the swimming pool behind me? That is what we have to deal with today. Imagine if I don't have men with me, what would I have done? That's what we have to deal with. You have to drive through this little by little before we finally go to the farmhouse and delivered some food stuff to the laborers because they run out of food. So we need to give them some full staff and we saw some people also came and they are there to work so these are some of the you know things that you'll be experiencing as a farmer so if you are planning of becoming a farmer some of the things that will be coming in as and when you might not even expect today when we're leaving home the weather was not looking too good but we were not really really expecting the rain as well we need the rain i mean we need the rain for our crops to actually grow but you know it's about timing you can see some killer people behind me <laughs> i have to do a run away before they get closer to me but i will show you some of the assets of the work that has been ongoing for some time now and then <laughs> i'm as, i'm scared let me keep looking how close are they are and then you get to know what we are doing but you know some of the pertinent challenges or i think my mistake as a new farmer you know initially when we're looking for people to plan for us um we wanted to get some people from the town the community but the cost they were mentioning was a bit on the high side so we thought of getting people from elsewhere but when we brought the people we didn't factor in where they'll be sleeping certain things they'll be using as in bucket for bathing mats to be sleeping on mosquito nets and the food apparently they are taking their money the money they are charging you they are taking it but you still have to buy them food and so some of these costs were not factored into our initial cost and oh my goodness you are coming <laughs> i'm afraid right so the you know my chairman were passing i had to allow them to actually pass so i was saying that my first mistake as a new farmer we needed to actually um recruit people i mean those who come and plant for us and so we're contemplating between hiring people here from the community versus getting people from outside the community now from our novel understanding we thought um as new people we thought that hey um people from here were charging a bit higher so why don't we get people from outside uh, you know unknowingly we, re we realized that we had to provide them with bucket for bathing, mosquito nets, the mat for sleeping. We need to provide them with food. I mean, we came all the way from Accra today to bring them food. And the, the sad part is there will not be discount for you. They are still charging the amount that they are charging you. So until they are done with planting and then goes away, whatever they will be eating is on your head. So subsequently, if you're going to be farming or you're going to farming and you need workers you should put this into your cost and so definitely our next cycle of production our next uh, production would factor these into it in fact we even need to create a small farmhouse for them so they can be sleeping we are still working on that because we need to look at our budget before getting a carpenter who would actually put together the farmhouse for them and then after the planting in some few weeks they'll have to come back for fertilizer application and then they will have to come back for pruning because in sweet potato 
you don't do too much of weeding you have to pick hand pick the weeds so they'll be coming back so all of this thing when i think about it then i'm asking my brother dr kamasa hey this course can we actually you know cover all this course and he says don't worry you would manage it but this is some of the highlights that i wanted to share with you it, you know, it was all about me going and talking 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 with farmers but it's my turn and this is my first mistake or this is my first error that i want to share with you the rain still might come and so we have to run and go to accra before it becomes more serious uh that we might not be able to go so if you're out there and you love me so much you love the work i do i need a pickup please and my partners who i'm doing this with i need a pickup this is my limousine it's gonna do anything over <laughs> this is my limousine we could fit the limousine let them see the limousine look at it. <laughs> this is my limousine i mean come on this is a city car this is this is a city car it, it cannot be doing this so if you're out there and you love what we do the plan is to actually scale up and do it bigger so we are talking to landowners in the volta region uh with the help of dr felis kamasa so that we can get bigger lands and scale up our next production so the next one will be major and bigger so everybody who wanted to join this season but because we didn't have enough space we round up the production don't worry the subsequent one you can become a part of us thank you very much i'll see you on the flip side bye bye